Here are the skins Flavio promised. Yeah, let's see. Yes, yes, these look good. Can we do business? We have a deal. I'll take the furs, you take the meat. Hmm, just endless lists and columns of numbers. I haven't seen you around here before. I knew. How did you manage to get into Harbour Town? Not much goes in or out these days. Well, not in town anyway. I looked for a way, and I found one. A resourceful, eh? I like that in a man. Glad to hear it. So, what do you do around here? I'm Sid's better half. He's one of the Don's men. Is he now? Now, don't go thinking he's any old ruffian. My Sid is smart, strong, and he knows what a girl wants. Which is? Well, a little material appreciation, of course. Why, what were you thinking? My Sid knows. Why, just the other day, my Sid gave me a beautiful ring. It was fit for the Inquisitor, it was. I think Sid stole them. My Sid is no thief, and you can't prove otherwise. I see the ring Sid gave you. Nah! You might chop off my hand to get to it. I know your sort. Tell me about yourself. What would you like to know, Henson? Sid, he's a decent man. Can't look after himself, mind, but what man can? I cook and I'll clean for him and keep him happy. He's not much of a talker, but who needs talk with his abilities? Got real stamina, my Siddy. And he brings me lots of presents. Go on. I mean, you can see I'm a lady who likes the finer things in life. A town girl has a duty to look good. What are like those peasants who come into town? No style, no class. I can see you're a woman of great taste. You know what I mean. I can see you're a man that appreciates the finer things in life. Most men around here just care where their next beer is coming from or how fast your dress hits the floor. It's been a pleasure talking to you. found it. I have your ring. I'm so pleased that honesty still exists. I'd like you to keep the ring. Are you serious? Seeing it just reminds me of breaking. I don't want it anymore. Are you sure about giving me the ring? Isn't it precious? Yes, of course. I don't even want to look at it. Take it with my thanks. I'm grateful. Thank you. Let's try. to be a better thief. I want to be a better pickpocket. Okay, okay. A skilled thief can take whatever he wants from a mark, but you've got to practice speed and sleight of hand. Move fast, but move soft. 
Getting your hand in a pocket isn't enough. You've only dipped it when you get your hand out with the goods and not get noticed. some meat for the needy. Really? Flavio said you could use it. That I can. There are some more refugees driven here by the creatures in the temple, by the dawn. We even had some refugees from other islands. We need help if we are to care for them all. I need some lockpicks. What say we negotiate a little? I need a few lockpicks. Conrad won't be sleeping alone tonight. <laughs> Better find that a moving experience. I'd stake my life on it. All right. Now, let's give him a little time to grasp the situation. When should I go back and see him? No hurry. Rest. 
Show me what you have. It's very simple, sweetie. You want something, you pay for it. And there's no discount for Rugged and Handsome here. What can you offer? You are in the finest bottle in town. If you can't find it here, it's not worth having. You also sell information. If you have the gold, I have the knowing. Give me ten gold coins and ask your question. If I can answer it, sweetie, then I will. And if I can't, then I still keep the gold. How does that do work for me? Believe me, there's little that goes on around here that doesn't come through my doors sooner or later. Comforting to know. But no risk, no fun. Right? I do need information. I'm all ears. don't care about maintaining order. So they turn a blind eye when our clients reach a new level of disgusting. Just take a look at that bastard over there. His name's Ericsson. Drinks all day and hits my girls. My regular guards left town and Ericsson won't listen to me. Dirty scum. Just ask my girl when what kind of a monster he is. With the Inquisition ignoring us, there can be no justice for a place like this. We're stuck at the mercy of bastards like Ericsson. So if I was a customer, who would you recommend? Olga's over there. She's a lovely girl. Very friendly and extremely flexible. And behave yourself, understand? I don't want to hear any complaints. I paid Sonia for your services. I understand what a man wants. You're an explorer. Am I right? An adventurer. Come conquer my continent, lover. Mm. Could I take you to a few places you've not seen before? Yeah, you could say that. I wonder why I haven't seen you before. I've seen many things. Things that are unseen by most. I'm a psychic. I haven't been here long. And you don't plan on staying long, right? No. I have business to take care of. Pity. But something tells me you will prove important to this place. So let me give you something for the hard road ahead. If you have upset another and they will not speak to you, then this scroll will soothe them. It contains a powerful spell. So use it wisely. Thank you, Olga. I wish you luck on your continued adventures. I feel you may need a great deal of it. So, I've got a couple of questions. Have you? Well, I'm not talking to anyone I don't know. So go and piss in someone else's ear.
You're gonna tell me what I need to know. Come on, let's get this done. Time to fight! What do you want? Do you know where Captain Steelbeard's shack is? You don't know what you're getting into. If you keep on like this, you're a dead man walking. You're gonna tell me where Steelbeard's shack is. You're gonna tell me now. All right, all right. In the gutters. It's in the gutters. It's one of those shacks near Costa's hotel. Now that's it. I've said enough. Too much. That key you had fits the front door. I've said too much. I hear Romanov won't let you sail with him again. What do you know? I'm one of Romanov's best men. He sails, I sail. Good job, sweetie. That bastard Ericsson had it coming. Just leave me alone. I'm not even here, all right? What's the matter? It's that drunken pig, Ericsson. He sits on that bench all day, eyeing me up, licking his lips, making his hand gestures. It's so creepy. And then I find out he paid Madame Sonia for me. I refused to go with him, and he beat me, bastard. Ericsson got what he deserved. Yeah, I saw you gave him quite a beating. Glad in my heart it did, but it ain't enough. In a few days I'll be back on that bench again, staring, licking, gesturing. Man, that's worth it. Did you spit in his face while you're at it? Is Ericsson one of the Don's men? Ha! <laughs> the Don's men are gentlemen compared to him. He comes right out of the town cesspit. And I'll make sure I stay up wind of it. Leave now if you know what's good for you. And if you even look at the girls here again, you'll regret it. Poor lover, are you? Well, save your effort. I was gonna go anyway. Stay here long enough, you'll cast the pox. Then maybe you already have. I don't think Ericsson will show his face here again. That's a relief and a half, I tell you. You're a good man. Here's that gold I promised. Don't worry. I'll earn it back soon enough. I've got a few specialist tricks. Take care of yourself, all right? Thanks. You too. That drunk Ericsson has taken off. That's a weight off my mind and no mistake. I think that warrants a reward.
Another new face. Welcome to the Merchant District. Are you looking for work or trade?
about your father? I found this paper in one of the shacks in the gutter. Now this is a useful piece of paper. This is precisely what I was looking for. I can finally leave this rat hole. You deserve a reward. Here, I can spare 200 gold coins. But take them, and you ask no more questions. Deal? Done. Just give me the gold. There'll be no more questions. 200 gold. You deserve it. You deserve more, but that's what I can pay. Good luck wherever the wind blows you. Me? I'm getting out of this place. I hear there's a fur shop for sale. Would you be interested? Fur shop? I'm not buying another stall. I'll be happy if I never sell another thing. Know any hermits? I think I'd make a good one of those. I want to be a Is better thief. There? Show me how to pick difficult locks. Right, right. The idea is the same. Push down the boat and then try to crack the lock with the lock pick. Of course, these locks are a bit more complicated. Locks like that are expensive. But you can expect valuable stuff inside. Well done. That didn't do it. Had to start again. It broke. 
It worked. Who is it? Why are you in here? I hope you're just looking. Can I help you? Don't even think about stealing. What do you want here? Watch yourself. Why are you in here? What? 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 <gasps> What's wrong? Yes, time to go. What? <gasps> What's wrong? Well, you're not a member of the Inquisition, and you don't look like a fighter. I'm not. I'm a treasure seeker. Ruins searched. Tombs emptied, valuables recovered, pockets lined. When I'm not being held prisoner, that is. What did you do to get locked up? The Inquisition wanted me and my brothers to work for them. We're independent operators. Picking sides is bad for business. Then they got wind we dug up these three golden bowls. And they want them. They're obsessed with artifacts. They can lock me up for as long as they like, but I'm not telling them a thing about those bowls unless they pay me a decent price. How much do you want for these golden bowls? Want to join the queue, do you? Well, at least you're talking price. That's more than they are. Give me 200 gold and I'll tell you where I hid mine. Deal. You're a treasure seeker. Any good? My brothers and I are the best. You're one of the triplets. You always work together. Three heads are better than one. And three sets of arms when it comes to shoveling. We know our craft. Not like the amateurs that fill the rooms with now. We came a long way to end up on this island. And now we're stuck here. Who do you triplets work for? We're free agents. We work for whoever pays the most. Pay us, we'll deliver. Treasure seeking is just digging, isn't it? You think? 
There's skill to it. That's why we're paid. Skill and danger. We've sailed the most dangerous seas and gone where fighters fear to tread. What kind of job are you looking for? We're not fussy. At least not while we're stuck here, we're not. If you have a job for us, then don't stay silent. Although, you'll have to help us get out of town first. I definitely can't help you if I'm locked up. Do you need me? You'll have to convince Hernandez to let me go. I'll get you out of town. You sound like you take pride in your work. I like that. Well, if you're up for it, you'll have to deal with the guard at the entrance. I doubt I'll get out of here unless you can persuade Hernandez to free me. Shouldn't your brothers know what we're planning? Yes. Tell them to come to our meeting point. They'll know where I mean. Okay, I'll tell them to go there. Great. I bet they're drinking themselves into a stupor in the Gutter's Tavern or on the Harbor Quay. How do I convince Hernandez to let you go? Well, you know why they're holding me. They want the three bowls. So? Get those three bowls out of circulation. I'm suddenly less interested. Find them. Make them disappear. How can I take these bowls out of circulation? Well, if you can get your hands on them, you can sell them to someone who can get them out of town. What if the Inquisition get to them first? Then it's up to you to handle it. The bowls just need to vanish from town. Look, just tell me where this golden bowl is hidden, or you'll rot here. That knowledge is valuable. No payment, no information. I thought you wanted out of here. I'm not gonna sell myself short to get out. No point in being free without a future, is there? Can you teach me anything? I can show you how to prospect for ore with a pickaxe. I thought you were a treasure seeker. Hacking into a hidden wall or prospecting for ore, it's all the same. Only ore is much less interesting than treasure. Are you the oldest of the triplets? Me? Amazing how a few minutes, a slice of fate can put a man in charge, isn't it? I wonder what the other two would have done if I hadn't been the first of the three of us to be born. Who's to say? Out. Don't let me set eyes on you again. I've heard you're holding a treasure seeker prisoner. That's right. And he's staying here. Unless the bastard talks, of course. About this treasure seeker. What is he accused of? He isn't a treasure seeker. He's a treasure stealer. And he's gonna stay locked up until what he nicked turns up. Until Carrasco has three artifacts, three golden bowls in his hands, then this thief isn't going anywhere. Isn't there a way you can forget all this and let him go? Are you trying to bribe me? Until Carrasco tells me differently, no one is going in there. And Alf isn't setting foot outside until I know what's happened to these three bowls he got his hands on. I'll sort Tony out. That would be appreciated. He isn't a pretty sight to look at all day. Although I would be interested to know what he's after. You not got better things to do?